All right, last video and then I'm caught up. Day 68 and 69. Day 68 says, choose one hair on your body that you will let grow one yard long. Most hair grows at approximately half an inch a month, so within eight years your chosen hair should be reaching optimum length. Remember to keep it clean using shampoo and conditioner daily and avoiding any tangling. Special note for pubic hair, tape it to the inside of the leg during sexual congress so as not to ruffle it. You'll never get bored of your special hair. Here, for instance, we've used ours to recreate the Mona Lisa, only better. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would work. I mean, I guess I shave where I my legs and stuff and so I don't know that they couldn't grow that long but I'm pretty sure they couldn't I don't know I've gone a long time without shaving my legs and not eight years well I mean yeah. but still and my hair would stop growing before it got that long I know that for sure and, I mean, I guess I don't know that for sure, because I always cut it, but mostly through college, I just, or at least the first couple of years, I just trimmed it, so if it was going to grow that long, I don't know. I just don't think any of my hair would grow a yard long. And I would forget, how do you keep track of that? That's just, whatever. Anyway, day 69, downsizing day. This advice comes to you courtesy of Shalesh Gore, Accountant to the Stars. Besides accountancy, Shalesh loves cricket and pizza and is available for your downsizing needs for a reasonable fee. Contact, contact him via www.thiswebsitewillchangeyourlife.com. In the current economic climate, we must all cut costs. Today, fire someone from your entourage. I think it's funny that with the current, or in the current economic cr climate, which is like probably worse than when this book came out, but, anyway, so they have these options as to who you, who you could eliminate and how much you would save. Hairdresser, minus $10. Yeah, I spend more than that on my haircuts, but oh well. Cut your own hair, get a handy friend to do it. Cleaner, negative $30. Cleaners cost money and steal things, plus it's good exercise for you. What? Um, yeah, I don't use a cleaner. Butcher? Negative nine dollars. Become a vegetarian. It's cheaper. Yeah, never gonna happen. And I don't use a butcher. Broker? Negative seventy five dollars. If they're any good, why haven't they retired rich by now? <laughs> That's hilarious. I pretty much don't have a bro broker. I have no money in my investment account anyway. Banker? Negative fifty dollars. I am my own banker. That's not true. I don't have accounts at my bank. <laughs> Keep your money under your mattress. The new generation of thieves aren't trained to look there. <laughs> Trainer, negative $25. With all that cleaning, see above, you won't need this one anymore. <laughs> Partner, negative $900. All the, that romantic tete-a-tete stuff costs a, bo costs a bomb. Ditch the bitch or bastard. <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, I'm single, so there you go. Cable guy, negative $10. You watch too much TV. Okay, that's probably true. Dentist, negative $110. Original teeth are overrated. There are very lifelike prosthetics on the market these days. Well, I have insurance, or at least I do until my birthday, which is in a week. But, yeah, I don't really pay for the dentist. Anyway, librarian, negative $2. Can you afford those whopping fines? Reread your old books. Yeah, I buy a lot of my books and reread my books. I really should go to the library more. I do like the library, and both my parents are librarians, essentially, so I yeah. have, but I've never had to pay a fine, so. Gardener, negative $15. You'll learn to love gardening when you retire. Why not start now? <laughs> Bodyguard, negative $870. No one's going to kidnap you if you're worth nothing. <laughs> Old friends, negative $100. Old friends expect birthday gifts, and other such luxuries you can ill afford. Lose them. Yeah, my friends are my life. But good idea. <laughs> pet, negative $25. Save money twice by not only downsizing your pet, by, but eating it, if is edible. <laughs> I don't have a pet, but gross. Accountant, negative $15,000. 
This one's a no-no. They know too much about you. Keep them. Therapist, negative $150. They also know too much about you, but nothing truly interesting. End it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a therapist because I make all my friends listen to my problems. So there you go. I can't lose anyone from my entourage because I don't really have an entourage. Or, as John Cusack says in America Sweethearts, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. I am my own entourage. <laughs> I love that line. It's hilarious. So yeah, this video is already ridiculously long, so I'm gonna go. But first, I'm gonna show you my beautiful, lovely, I heart you mug that I'm drinking hot chocolate of, and not hot chocolate. Milk. Yeah, Chocolate milk. Because I love chocolate milk, especially right before bed. Why? I don't know. I just do. So, yeah. That's a tidbit about me. And I will see you in a couple days.